you are almost done and there's just one little thing you have to do and you have to go to your cease track directory la 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 once you have reached into your cease track directory you should be looking for liblistgam dot gam is a game file for your server and here it is just double click it and it asks you what program you want to open it just press select the program from a list and you should um, double click on notepad once you have opened it with notepad it should say something like um, slash DLS, DLLs and something blah 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 just replace just replace it with ad add-ons forward slash metamod forward slash DLLs forward slash metamod dot DLL and save it once you have done this your server is ready to go and online plus the double protocol should be working so it's live to go you can also um, add the admins by going to amx mod configs and users the ini it should be opened again with notepad if necessary and just uh, if you want to add yourself by a steam id you should be writing you have to always you have to always put a colon in front of the um in front of each section so your met, uh, users I, the INI file doesn't get confused so colon steam underscore zero zero double dot zero zero double dot wha whatever it is again the double colon space colon if you don't want to pass it just press colon again then you set your access rights all the access rights can be found up here if you um so if you're the server owner I, I think you're gonna need all of them so you just copy this copy paste it and then put the colon then since this is a steam id you do another colon c e which stands for don't ask the password and it's a steam id press save and you're an admin now so Sometimes you find that people can't connect to your server. That would be that you have to forward your DMZ host. So just open the Internet Explorer, and you uh, need to know your uh, router configuration um, la LAN IP, which is easy to be found. Just press Start. My computer, my network places, V network connections. Once this has loaded up, if you're using a LAN or high speed internet, just double click on it. Go to support. Then look for the default gateway. My one is 192.168.0.1. So I'll write that in the web browser. 192.168.0.1. I'll click on it and it will ask you for a username and password. If you by default usually it is admin, the username and the password is admin. If you're using Sky from the UK, your username would be admin and the password will be Sky. If you don't know your password, I suggest you phone your ISP and find out the password. Once you go on it, you will have to find something that says DMZ or host or run setup or something that you have to write your IP or forward uh, port forwarding. If you want to know what your I, uh, server IP is, you have to open the HLDS folder. Just find the HL here yeah, where you uh, just open HLDS, and it will be look. Uh. Once this is open, just press start server. It will be loading up. Once it's done, my IP is 192.168.0.3 and it says 27015, that's my IP address. I can leave the port out, I just need the first first part of the thing, IP. So since I'm using Sky, I'll just click on Advanced and One Setup and I'll have to click on Default DMZ Server. I write that IP in. You don't have to place the dots in, but you must, must, must not put all the digits in the same one. Like you can see, one nine, one nine two point 
168 and that's exactly what it says there but without the ports then you have to press apply or save whatever your router tells you to do and your server is ready to go and you can to find but that's not the IP that other people will connect to your server with the IP that people use to connect to your server will be found on the the uh, last link I would have placed on the description which is www.whatsmyip.us if, if you have used the default port which is 27015 you just have to give your friends or whoever whoever is connecting to your server the IP that firstly pops up which is that one over there you have to give them this IP to connect to or add to their favorites and it should be working perfectly thank you for watching my video and please subscribe if I helped you if you need any further questions, please visit the C -Strack tutorial C -Strack, um website, or the or ask me any questions you like by sending me a message or replying on my video or something. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.